All right, so we are going to make a reusable um, BB and pellet stop for my kids to shoot with in the backyard. And basically, we've got one of these little uh, totes from Walmart. It's uh, it's pretty small, but it's perfect, perfect size wise. It's roughly seven inches tall, about looks like about 17 wide by a foot. So seven by 17 by 12. And what we're gonna do is we've got these super cheap, some of these adhesive carpet tiles, and I basically cut them to fit and I layered about six of them. And so that's gonna provide the backstop um, for the BBs and pellets. Um, in the past, I've used this kind of method and I, I've never had anything go past five of these. So we'll see what happens. It's gonna be against a brick wall as well, but I prefer not to damage the back of this. And in addition to the you know the carpet tiles, um, this will stop the BBs just fine. But the pellets from my 1200 FPS pellet gun will most likely rip through those. So just as a precaution, I went ahead and got some uh, I think it's eighth inch steel, and I cut it to fit. And that's just your your last layer of protection to make sure nothing punches through. So with that, I'm gonna um, use some double sided tape to adhere this to the the container, put the carpet tiles on top of it to again kind of catch and soften impact of BBs, make sure they don't bounce back out. And then the you know the box itself is done, then onto the uh, construction of the lid. And then so then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on, I'm gonna cut out uh, this inner lip right here, and I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard that goes along the lips um, of this lid and uh, put some of these little uh, carriage bolts in through this. And so what, what it's meant to do is the cardboard can be replaced but basically a piece of paper will go on top of the cardboard and tape it on with a target. And that way this gets destroyed and beat up. The lid stays intact and this my kids are way off. Um, but most importantly, all the BBs and pellets get trapped inside here. So let's uh, continue from there and see how it looks. All right, so we got the, uh, the top piece cut out and the paper is going to go um, over that and taped on. But now I'm just going to cut out the interior and then put some holes in for the carriage bolts and it should be good. All right, so there's the completed lid. Again, we just have these little carriage bolts drop through with some uh, some nuts or even wing nuts in the back to make it easier. But now all we have to do is just take a piece of paper with a target on it and drop it over the front, tape it top and bottom, and you have a working target. Okay, there's the completed one. Just use some duct tape on it. And again, if the carpet gets too messed up, you replace it, not a big deal. But hopefully, if my kids are accurate enough, they're not going to have many issues just hitting the inside. And again, we'll be able to retain the uh, the BBs and pellets inside. So let's go have some fun. Woo! That's fun. So we just got done peppering uh, everything, as you can see, and again, using both the uh, high-powered pellet gun and just some random BB guns. And it did an excellent job of catching on the BBs. So you can see they're all it down there and more importantly we have no puncture holes in the back so it did its job glad to see no uh nothing broke through and as we mentioned before in addition to being a nice bb trap and keeping stuff from uh you know bouncing out and whatnot um, it's also a handy little storage bin so here you can see i got baby basically everything bb and pellet related for my kids um co2 cartridges bbs pellets Little CO2 powered pistol magazine for the Florida BB gun, speed loaders, targets, got some duct tape, but it all goes inside here. It's all self contained. The only thing I don't have in here is uh, eye protection, which I have in my shooting gear bag, but it might make sense to put some extra ones in here for the kids. So, anyway, that is the handy dandy storage bin and BB trap. If you'd like to buy any of this stuff and try it yourself, I have links to the bin and the carpet tiles down in the video description but other than that if you have any questions hit me up in the comments thanks for watching and take care